So um, usually for kidney disease, for chronic kidney disease, and even diabetes, um, our targets of blood pressure are less than 130 over 80. And that's kind of what I've been guiding my patients to. Mm -hmm. um, most of my patients, um, and, and, and a lot of my patients need multiple regimens of uh, multiple medications to help bring them down to this target. Um, also, my patients who've had trouble with their weight um, sometimes need to be evaluated for sleep apnea because sometimes that can cause like resistant high blood pressure as well. So, I, but getting the patients down to this target um, is is um, hope beneficial ultimately for their kidneys. Um, obviously, we want to avoid low blood pressure because sometimes low blood pressure can also cause issues with renal disease. I've had patients whose, whose blood pressures are, are less than 100 as a systolic number, and they're on multiple medications. So we, we want to make sure that patients are um, monitoring their blood pressure and staying within um, around like 130 over, over 80 without having um, symptoms of low blood pressure or, or having actual low blood pressures too. So 